I've been riding for almost five years now. Every ride can be exciting, thrilling, but this? This is something else. I realize that riding bikes give you an amazing feeling, but riding bikes as a sport, like on the track or in the woods, amplifies that feeling by 100%. And this is how we get to this spot, my first ever track day. First things first, I have to recommend trailering your bike. If you do happen to crash, your day is already pretty ruined and trying to find a way to trailer your bike out of there when you've crashed already, it's, it's not my idea of fun, that's for sure. First of all, what should you pack? Well, whatever you decide to take with you, never forget these items. On a hot and sunny day, they proved absolutely indispensable. First item on the list is a gas can. When at high revs, bikes consume a lot more than usual, so to give you an idea, I did 5 sessions of 20 minutes each, and I went for more than one tank of gas on my FZ6. And keep in mind that the FZ6 isn't even a liter bike, so it doesn't drink as much fuel as another bike might, so yeah, definitely pack some spare fuel. Number 2 is... A comfy chair. I cannot express how useful this can be after 20 minutes of riding full on in the saddle. Being able to sit down somewhere comfortable next to your car, it's invaluable. And yes, your car seat might work, but when it's boiling hot outside, your car is gonna also get boiling hot and so you'll, you'll probably want to sit outside of the car. Number three on the list is actually an umbrella and this can serve two purposes. If it's really sunny and hot outside, it's a lifesaver to be able to create a little corner of shade anywhere. You just open two doors of your car, put the umbrella over there and you're good. But also what if it rains? I mean if it rains in the pauses between your sessions, you are going to need a way to keep yourself dry while walking for the pad dock. And number four, one of the most crucial items I had on this list is a freezer bag. It's an insulated sort of container where you can hold drinks or maybe some food, some candy bars and stuff like that. But basically a place where you can keep cold stuff 
cold. If outside there are 30 degrees Celsius, you will want to have a nice cold Coke or even water that's not boiling. Now, some facilities might allow you to buy cold drinks from there or even food, but I wouldn't really count on it. I mean, if they do, that's great, but if they don't and it's your first time ever, it's better to come prepared than, yeah. Last but not least, bring some tools. Bring the most common tools you use on your bike. A few wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, whatever you might need. Personally, I only use the cutter for zip ties, but I had to borrow out tools to people changing their brake pads or doing other maintenance jobs. Don't let your day be ruined just because you forgot your 10 mil at home. You're all packed now. I mean, you have good tires, good brake pads, everything is in good condition, fresh oil, stuff like that. But there are a few preparations that you still need to make before going to a track day. Preparations like your mirrors, you have to tape them off. Also, you have to tape off all your turn signals, headlight and also the rear lights need to be taped off for safety reasons and in order not to distract other people. Last thing you're gonna need to take off is your license plate or at least tape it off. In the case of an accident, the last thing you really want flying towards you is a thin piece of metal. Gear? Check. Timing transponder? Check. Bike? Check. Anxiety? Check. Despite it being my first day, I feel like I learned a ton of things. First of all, I learned that you can only learn one thing at a time. Only focus on leaning, braking or other aspects of your riding at one specific time. It's tempting to split your concentration in a million different places, but this way you'll never properly get them all down. The most important thing you learn is how to lean. On the street you don't really have the conditions to learn such techniques. I mean, here you don't have the grip, you don't have the certainty of a good road condition, so you can't really lean as far as you normally would on track. And the track is really the place where you want to learn such things. Once you get this technique though, everything's gonna feel so much smoother, so much safer, and most importantly for a track day, so much faster. Next thing you're gonna learn is braking, and to be more specific, you're gonna learn that you can brake a lot later than you'd usually expect. I mean, sure, you need to be careful with the brakes and trust your tires, have some balls, um, and most importantly, not pull this lever like a complete animal. Yes, it's scary and it does require some balls, but it's one of the most satisfying techniques that you can accomplish. And hey, uh, worst case scenario, you end up in the gravel pit. Compared to hitting an incoming car, I think it's a worthy trade-off. Once you start progressing, you'll see that you'll need to overtake more and more often. In the beginning, it can be daunting, but you do get used to it. You see, on the street, we're used to only looking for one way of overtaking, through the left. On the track, things are different. You can go wherever you like, as long as it's safe, to the left, right, on the straights. I found that the most overtakes I did were either during braking or during corner exit, where despite having a slightly underpowered bike in comparison to most, I managed to open up the throttle a little bit earlier, thus creating myself an advantage. The last thing I learned is that oopsies do happen. You will scrape a peg here and there, you will have some maybe near misses with different overtaking situations or...
you might be close to missing a turn, but at the end of the day, you're on a track. And if there is a place that you should push your limits, that is a track day. One of the most useful things you can do is watch other riders. Get inspiration from them, don't copy exactly what they do, but observe and test out different techniques, different ways to lean, trajectories, whatever it is, watch others and try them yourself afterwards. Finally, at the end of the day, I was shattered, I mean completely knackered, like I couldn't feel a single muscle or bone in my body. For everyone who says that this isn't a sport because you just sit in your seat and ride all day, I'd beg to defer. I've been through three sessions, I'm exhausted, I'm done, I'm... <laughs> there are three more sessions left. This is tiring. Now, it's been an amazing experience where I learned a lot and unfortunately I think I might have found a new motorsport that I like. Um, my wallet is definitely gonna cry out for help, but hey, we only live once and if you're able to do it, go to a track day, you might get addicted. It's a lot better than drugs, gotta say.